also important to make sure you leave in time if you're parked on Titchener because that's yes. I guess that potentially could be a cars being removed thing versus it sounds like it yeah mm-hmm. so yes don't park on Titchener next Saturday the 18th awesome so last week um, the Auburn Police Department announced a really exciting thing. I think it's exciting. It involves dogs, so that's always exciting. Um, they have released a pack called a pack of trading cards called the APD deck, which is a set of collectible canine trading cards, including one for each of our eight canines um, that work with our Auburn Police Department. Um, so each of the eight cards includes a photo of the dog, um, his name, of course, the year they joined the force, their nickname, specialty training, a fun fact about them, um, and background information such as their breed or their favorite toy, and it also features their handlers. Um, the police dogs and their handlers spend the majority of their work out in the community, so the way that you can get these cards is by, if you see them maybe at the Mardi Gras parade in, next weekend, if you see one of our canines out which they are out before every single parade that we have in downtown Auburn. They sweep um, just for safety, make sure there aren't any explosives or anything like that in the area. So if you see them out and about, don't run up and pet the dog. Um, but <laughs> approach the officer <laughs> and um, just strike up a conversation and say, hey, and introduce yourself um, and ask them for one of these cards. They're carrying them as they're out doing these community events. Um, and if you really want to pet the dog, just make sure that you ask the officer before you do because they are working their little hearts out. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, it's just an exciting way that um, our police department came up with to get people to interact with our officers while they're out and about. Um, sometimes those dogs can seem intimidating, but they're here to protect you just like our officers are. So don't be afraid to go up and start a conversation and interact with our police officers. But apparently they, they have to treat those dogs really kind of differently. I mean, it's a different life for a dog than mm-hmm. just because of what they do and the importance of what they do. It's mm-hmm. it's it's an interesting it's interesting to learn more about. Yeah. yeah. They really do work. Like they they are working dogs. They are on on shift whenever they're on and I've heard some of the handlers talk about whenever they get home it's just a totally different environment because they know when they're at work they act a certain way, but at home they can cut loose and play just like any other dog. Did you say, I'm sorry if you said this that do you can you only get the cards from the handlers when you see them out or can you go to the police department and pick them up do you know they are currently encouraging people to ask people or to to interact with them out in the public that's the main goal of it is to talk to all the different ones we have had some people reach out who um on social media who their child really wants a pack of it and they have agreed to send it to them Mm -hmm. um but the main goal is if you see them out and it's more fun yeah you actually get to see the dog in person. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, when you started, you were talking about, or just when you said this is, you know, public affairs from the city of Auburn, Alabama specifically. It, it is interesting how often we get emails, phone calls, contacts for other Auburns. And people, you know, people will send us an email or, or you'll be talking to them on the phone and, They'll be talking about this problem on some street you've never heard of <laughs> or, or talking about the elected official that you've never heard of. And, and you realize, hey, this is this is some other Auburn. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's, it's interesting how often that happens. Yes. My favorite of the complaints, because you can say, it's, you know, that's not us. It's not our problem. <laughs> <laughs> it um, and it's it's weird to me when it comes from, you know, like a professional organization or a lawyer or somebody like with a pretty serious problem that they still, yeah, I guess, I guess maybe, maybe our search engine optimization is good mm-hmm. and they type Auburn and they see us and just go with it. We're a pretty popular place. There you go. <laughs> um, but of course we always help them get to the right Auburn mm-hmm. to the extent that we can find it or tell. Um, so I was just going to talk a little bit about open line, just remind folks of the open line newsletter that comes in your water bill for most people. It's also published online on the city's website at auburnalabama.org, I guess, slash open line. Mm-hmm. Um, and so our our schedule works a month ahead. Right now you're receiving the March issue. So you received the February issue in January. That's always fun to think through as we're planning our calendar. And the reason for that is the billing cycle. So 
you know, there's a billing, a different billing cycle, essentially every week. It's sort of probably not that simple, not that clean, but, um, the only way for us to put things in open line that we know will still be relevant when you get it is to work a month ahead. So for Feb events this month in February, look back to the issue that you received in January, where we talk about the soccer complex roundabout that's under construction. Talk about how you can get a free tree on Arbor day on Saturday, Feb, Feb day. I can't talk Saturday, February 25th. That's why I can't talk. How do you say February? <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> And there's more information about what's going on in February. And of course, the issue that might be in your mailbox right now is talking about everything that's going on in March. So just a reminder um, about open line. And we, we know people read it. We, we do, as part of our citizen survey, we ask you how you get your information. And people still indicate that, that open line is, is one of the things, that, one of the tools that they use to get information from the city. There's a calendar on the back. I got a voicemail earlier today um, talking about how they, you know, use that calendar, put it on their fridge to, to kind of keep track of some of the events that were going on. Um, so don't forget open line. And it's very well designed by Miss Cynthia over here. It is. It is. We, uh, we finally redesigned it after yeah. 15 years or, or more. I think it was over 20. Yeah. It had to yeah. be done. Well, it started. <laughs> it needed to. Yeah, it started, I guess we started in 2000 or 2001. You redesigned it just a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and it looks great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, well, wrapping up this week, if you are looking for a job, uh, we have good news for you. The City of Auburn is, uh, excuse me, the City of Auburn's Workforce Development Team will host a job fair on February 23rd at the Auburn Center for De Developing Industries. That is at 1500 Pumphrey Avenue. Uh, job seekers are invited to stop by from 1 to 5 p.m. Again, that's February 23rd. Uh, the fair is going to feature 23 companies with more than 300 jobs available. Attendees should bring multiple copies of their resume and be prepared to interview on the spot. Um, do we know what kind of, are these just all run the gamut on employers? I think most of them are from a lot of our local industries, but there will be other employers there. I believe um, the hotel at Auburn University is going to be there and some others like that. So if you're in a heavy industry, definitely come. If you want to get into one, definitely come. But also keep an eye keep an eye out for other opportunities too. Um, anybody got anything else? Anybody going to the career fair? <laughs> no, no, everyone at this table is perfectly happy. All right. All right, good to know. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for listening. We will be back next week. Thanks for listening to Four Things to Know, an open line podcast produced by the City of Auburn. If you're looking for more news, events, and dates to know about coming up in Auburn, visit news.auburnalabama.org. You can also check out our show notes for the links and URLs discussed in this episode.